Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another video. Today, we are going to do a crossword puzzle in Spanish. And we're going to talk about the human body. <laughs> So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Also visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. I hope you can hear me well. And please give this video a thumbs up right here. <laughs> uh, that helps this channel a lot. And I hope you're ready to play. I can see already somebody left some message. Anthony Grant, uh, he's saying he's probably not going to be here or he's gonna miss this crossword. Um, that's okay, don't worry about it. Hello, <laughs> thank you for stopping by. Uh, but yeah, today we're going to try to guess 15 words related to the human body. Okay, so are you guys ready? <laughs> Last time, Marcos Barrera won the crossword puzzle. He, uh, he was very fast. He guessed a lot of words and he was the winner last time. Let's see today if he is going to be here. I don't know if he's going to to, uh, participate, to participate today, but we'll see. So, you know how this works. You can use the live chat and just type all your answers. I'm going to read the description of the words of different words and you have to guess them. So whoever guesses faster or the, the fastest, um, that person has to, well, gets a point and that same person has to tell us the next number or the next word on the crossword puzzle. Okay, so is anybody here? <laughs> Hi, Kay Beck. How are you? It's nice to see you. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> so, yeah, let's do this, right? So, I'm going to choose the first word, okay? And then from there you can, well, you know how it works. So, today, let's see which one. Um... Let's do something easy, <laughs> I hope. And let's do two down, okay? Two down, that, that word has only four letters. Hello, Nate, welcome, hola, how are you? I hope you're good, I hope you're doing well. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, this word has only four letters. Okay, we're doing two down, two down. Okay, so the description is, first of all, is this word is plural, okay? So you have to remember that. This, this word is plural. Obviously, all the words are gonna be nouns because it, we're talking about the human body. It's just pretty much uh, talking about parts of the human body, okay? So this is a noun, obviously, it's plural, and the description is, or the definition is, the lower extremity of the leg below the ankle on which a person stands or walks, okay? So that is the definition, the lower extremity of the leg below the ankle on which a person stands or wax. And remember, this is plural. Do you know the answer? Yes, 
Yes, Quebec, you're right. That is the answer. We're talking about pies, pies, okay? So that's the right answer, pies. And this means feet, okay? Pies, feet. Now, Quebec, please tell us the next number. Okay, nine down, nine down, let's find it. Okay, that one is right here, nine down, excellent. Okay, that one is, huh, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna read the definition. By the way, that word has seven letters, seven letters. Okay, the definition is, Hairs collectively, especially those growing on a person's head. We're talking about hairs, uh, a bunch of hairs, <laughs> especially those growing on a person's head. Okay? This one is easy. There are two different ways to say this in Spanish, uh, but... Let's see if you can guess one. The one that has seven letters. Yes, Quebec, you are correct. Yes, we're talking about cabello, cabello. Oh, by the way, sorry about that, K. I'm just going to give you one point already, or two, because you guessed the first two words. Sorry about that. I totally forgot about it. Um, okay, so, cabello. Cabello. We're talking about cabello. Cabello. That means hair, you know? Especially this hair. <laughs> the one on top of the... or on the head, you know? <laughs> okay, so cabello means hair. And I gave the point to Quebec. Excellent, Quebec, please tell us the next one. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I made a mistake. Oh boy, Nate, Nate answered this first. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> So, K, one point, and Nate gets a point. Sorry about that, Nate. There you go. Cabello, that means hair. Sorry about that, Nate. Please tell us, Nate, the next number. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, Nate. I apologize. <laughs> Okay, Nate, <laughs> I, I fixed it, I fixed it, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so please tell us, Nate, which number is next? Okay, you want me to pick? Okay, um, I think we should do one down, one down. So that's right here and this one is plural as well, okay? This word is plural. And the definition is the strip of hair growing on the ridge above a person's eye socket. The strip of hair growing on the ridge above a person's eye socket. Do you know the answer? <laughs> and it's plural, remember. It's plural. Yes, that's correct. Okay, that's correct. We're talking about cejas. Cejas. And we can see here the answer. Cejas. That means eyebrows, okay? Cejas, eyebrows. 
and uh, we're gonna give a point to K. Okay, K2, Nate1. Okay, K, please tell us the next number. Five across. That one is, oh boy, okay. This one is quite long. This one has three, six, eight letters. No, nine. No, eight, sorry, <laughs> eight. Eight letters. And this one, this one is singular. <laughs> And the definition is the internal organ in which the major part of the digestion of food occurs, being in humans and many mammals. A pear-shaped enlargement of the alimentary canal linking the esophagus to the small intestine. <laughs> so essentially it's an organ and it's responsible for the major part of the digestion. Yes, Nate, you're right. Nate and Kay are right. We're talking about estomago, estomago. Okay, estomago. And I'm really glad that you're using the accent mark. That's amazing. Good job. Nate gets a point. Perfect, that's amazing. Yeah, estomago means stomach, okay? No, it's stom yeah, it's stomach, 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 right? <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> stomach, um, okay, Nate, please. Tell us the next number. Or do you want me to pick again? <laughs> okay, 11 down. 11 down. That one is here. And it has six letters. Six letters. Six letters. Okay. This is singular and the definition is the part of a person's or animal's body connecting the head to the rest of the body this one is easy <laughs> again the definition is the part of a person's or animal's body connecting the head to the rest of the body do you guys know the answer Yes, correct. K. K has the answer. Perfect. Yes, Cap, uh, we're talking about cuello. Cuello. Welcome, Anthony Grant. <laughs> I'm glad you made it. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, K Beck is right. We're talking about cuello. Cuello, cuello, and that means neck, okay? Cuello, neck. K gets a point. Oh boy, okay. Welcome 99 Saul. Yes, that's the, that's the right answer, cuello, cuello. That means neck. Now, K Beck is saying 13 down. 13 down, that one is right here, 13 down, and this word has five letters, five letters. The definition is the part projecting above the mouth on the face 
of a person or animal, containing the nostrils and used for breathing and smelling. This one is easy as well. That's great, Saul. <laughs> Placer igualmente. <laughs> Anthony, I shouldn't be playing. Why? What's wrong? <laughs> Are you at work? Okay, so I see some answers. That's correct. And Anthony, Anthony has the right answer. We're talking about nariz, nariz. And the answer is nariz, nariz. That means nose, okay? Um... Okay, so I'm going to give the point to Anthony. Perfect. Anthony, one point. Okay, so Anthony, please. <laughs> okay, four down, four down. That one is right here, as you can see. And the definition is the joint between the thigh and the lower leg in humans. And this one is singular, okay? Remember that. The joint between the thigh and the lower leg in humans. What are we talking about? Do you not do you guys know? <laughs> This one, by the way, uh, this has six, seven letters. Okay, you almost got it right, but Anthony, that's the right answer. We're talking about rodilla, rodilla. Okay, rodilla, rodilla. And that means knee. And this one is singular, right? But usually people have two knees <laughs> okay and the point is for Anthony perfect so K3 Nate 2 Anthony 2 now Anthony please tell us Sure, let's do three down, three down. This one right here, that one uh, has six letters. And the definition is the upper part of the human body or the front or upper part of the body of an animal, typically separated from the rest of the body by a neck and containing the brain, mouth and sense organs. <laughs> so, do you guys know the answer? We're doing three down, okay? Three down. Okay, o almost, <laughs> you have a typo? Yes. That's correct. We are talking about cabeza. Cabeza. And that means head. Okay? So, the answer is cabeza. Cabeza. And that means head. We're going to give a point to K. K4. K is leading so far. Okay? Um... Now, Kay, please tell us. We have eight down, seven down, 10 across, 14 across, 15 across. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, yeah, Anthony, sorry, the point is for Anthony. <laughs> 
Tony. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry, Kate. Kate. <laughs> Anthony. Anthony. Yeah, and Anthony gets the point. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's be fair, okay? <laughs> so Anthony three, K three, Nate two. Am I right? <laughs> okay, Anthony, please tell us a number or do you want to do seven down since K already uh, decided that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, let's do seven down since, or yeah, let's do seven down because Anthony uh, wants someone else to pick the next word. Let's do seven down. Okay. Sorry about that. Seven down is this one right here. And it has seven letters seven letters the definition is first of all this word is plural okay and the definition is each of a set of hard bony <laughs> enamel coated structures in the jaws of most vertebrates uh, used for biting and chewing so this one is easy um there these <laughs> these things are hard they're um they have some sort of enamel and they're used for biting and chewing okay now k answered uh correctly <laughs> dientes we're talking about dientes okay dientes and that means teeth dientes 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 teeth and the point is for k <laughs> i'm just double checking <laughs> okay yeah this one was quite easy now k please <laughs> tell us the number eight down Eight down. Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Eight down. That one is right here. And uh, this word has six letters. Six letters. The definition is this word is plural. And the definition is each of the two upper limbs of the human body from the shoulder to the hand each of the two upper limbs of the human body from the shoulder to the hand this one is easy guys <laughs> this one is very easy come on and this word has six letters k back wow k you're so fast nate as well and anthony you guys are fast yes that's correct we are talking about brazos brazos and that means arms okay brazos brazos and k you get the point <laughs> k5 Nate two and Anthony three. Okay, you guys are fast. Please, Kay, tell us ten, ten across, ten across. That one is right here, and this word has four letters, four letters. So it's a very short word. Let's see the definition. This one is singular. The opening in the lower part of the human face, surrounded by the lips through, <laughs> through which food is taken, taken in and from which speech and other sounds are 
y miren. <laughs> um, nope. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, guys, I see some answers, and yeah, we're talking about boca, boca, okay? Boca, that means mouth in Spanish, mouth. And the point goes to Quebec. Yeah, right? Yes, Quebec. <laughs> Quebec, uh, great. K has six points, Nate two, Anthony three. Wow. <laughs> You're fast, guys. You're not messing around. Okay. <laughs> K, please tell us. <laughs> yeah, K, K is really fast for sure. Uh, K is saying 15 across. 15 across, guys. 15 across. That one is right here at the bottom. And uh, this word has four letters. Four letters, guys. Four letters. We're talking about four letters. And the definition is... This is, this is going to be plural. Plural, guys. More than one. And the definition is each of a pair of globular organs in the head through which people and vertebrate, vertebrate animals see. The visible part typically appearing almond shaped in animals with eyelids. <laughs> okay, you, you said it before. You, you said this before. Yes, Nate. Nate, you got it. You got it. We're talking about ojos. Ojos. And let's see. Ojos. Ojos. And that means eyes. Okay. And Nate gets the point. Nate. Good. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> you got it. Please, Nate, tell us the next number. We have 14 across, 12 across, 6 across. Only three more words <laughs> okay six six across let's do six across Six across is right here, and this word has five letters, five letters. This is going to be plural as well, and the definition is the end part of a person's arm beyond the wrist, including the palm, fingers, and thumb. It's plural, guys. We can see that also the, the word has two letters, A and S. Mm -hmm. Anthony, you are correct. We're talking about manos, manos. And let's see it, manos. That means hands, manos. And Anthony gets the point. Oh boy, <laughs> this is getting competitive. And um, yeah, Anthony, do you want 12 across or 14? I know you want someone else. Okay, okay, sorry. I'll, I'll do it for you, okay? Let's do 12, 12 across or anybody else. Would you like 12 or 14 across? Which one, guys? Anybody? Those two words are quite long, so.
<laughs> okay, I'll I'll pick for you. Okay, Nate. Thank you. Thank you, Nate. And uh, we're going to do 12 across. 12 across. And that one is right here, guys. That one has uh, seven letters. Seven letters. This is plural as well. And the definition is each of the limbs on which a person or animal walks and stands. That's that's easy. <laughs> Each of the limbs of which a person or animal walks and stands. And this one is plural, guys. Plural. <laughs> uh huh. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. I mean, <laughs> yes, yes, K, K has the right answer. We're talking about piernas, 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 piernas. And the point goes to K, K7, Nate 3, Anthony 4. Okay, so the last word, guys. The last word is 14 across, and this one has uh, seven, seven letters, okay? And the definition is, the ra rare surface of the human body from the shoulders to the hips. Do you guys know the answer? The rare surface of the human body from the shoulders to the hips. Something that we have behind. <laughs> it's a big flat surface that we have behind. <laughs> yes. Wow. Okay. Okay. You you nailed it. <laughs> you nailed it. We're talking about espalda. Espalda. And that means back. Okay? Back. And K gets the point. Wow. Kate K is unstoppable. K K Bake, how many how many times have you won? Because I mean Anthony and K. You guys, oh boy. And yep, we have a winner. Kay, congratulations. You are the winner of this crossword puzzle. You guessed eight Spanish words and that's amazing. You really know your Spanish and you nailed it. I mean, you're fast. You did it. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I hope 99 Saul is saying, Los chicos usan Google. Creo. Are you guys Googling things? I hope you're not. <laughs> but K Beck, congratulations. You're the winner of this crossword puzzle you nailed it well i'm glad that the lessons are helping k uh you you're really really good at, at spanish and you guys i mean nate anthony as well um 99 sol thank you so much for being here you guys also contributed and and like answered a bunch of of uh you you had good answers as well and and it was just about timing because k she she is very fast <laughs> and you guys are fast as well but yeah i mean that's how it works thank you so much for being here k congratulations you should be proud of yourself you really know spanish thank you so much guys for being here uh please 
let me know if you have any suggestions for future crosswords. Um, all your suggestions are greatly appreciated. And remember to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I open a new video. Visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. And you can download this crossword puzzle. Uh, you just need to go to smlessons.com slash games. I'm leaving a link to that in the video description down below. And yeah, you can download this for free. And uh, you can, I have like already 10 crossword puzzles there. So <laughs> all of them are for free. Now uh, let's read some comments. Um, so Nate says, Ahora hace una lección de los estados de México. Nate, I'm working on that actually. And that lesson is going to be ready soon. Hopefully we can do that next week. But yeah, I... I didn't forget I'm working on that and we're going to we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Mexico and all the states in Mexico. And um, thank you, Anthony, for participating as well. Um, I know that you <laughs> didn't have time for this or, or you're really busy. So I really appreciate that you 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 were here and you were playing with us. Thank you so much. And to everyone. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll see you next time. Have a good weekend. Take care.